Alright, magandang magandang araw po sa inyo lahat at araw ng uh, Martes, October 3. Kamusta po kayo? So many of us are uh, naiintriga ano ba nga talaga nangyayari na sa kaso ng ating kababayan na napatay o napas lang dito sa Saudi Arabia. Ilang araw na nga naman ano po, at hindi nagsasalita ang ating mga gobyerno. Ngunit sa araw na ito, Abay, nagsalita na ho ang ating uh, gobyerno patungkol sa kaso ng ating kababayan. Tingnan natin ano nga ba ang kanilang, uh, ang kanilang uh, plano at hakbang upang makamit ang, uh, ang hustisya. At ano ho ba may tutulong ng ating gobyerno sa pamilya ng ating kababayan. Panoorin natin ito nang sa ganun po ay magkaroon tayo ng kaunting idea sa kung anong plano ho nila. Ano po? Yan. Okay. With the officer in charge of the Department of Migrant Workers, Undersecretary Hans Leo Kaktak. Undersecretary, good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to the program. Yes, good afternoon, Carmina, and thank you for having me. I really hope that we would be talking about a topic that was not as sad and not as grave, but let's talk about the death of Marjorie Garcia. What do we, first of all, what do we know about her, her history? Was this her first outing as uh, an OFW? Yes, we commiserate with the with the family left behind by OFW Marjorie Garcia, and we will do all we can to help and support the family, and that includes the matter on the ongoing investigation in Saudi. She was deployed as a domestic worker in 2021, uh, so it's, it hasn't taken long. But but we know that uh, she had been working. At least uh, very well and smoothly with her with her current employer. So since she was deployed in 2021, she's only had one employer, and this was the employer that she um, that she still had at the time of her death. Yusek. Yes, as far as we know, yes. Um, there are reports reaching us here in the newsroom that she was stabbed to death. Can you confirm that, Yusek? This stage, uh, Carmina, we can't confirm uh, at least details, uh, major or minor details, uh, as we await the the investigation results uh, of the Saudi authorities. Mm. Um, I... All right. Um, Doon sa punto na yon, yun din yung sinabi sa amin ng DMW. Okay? Kaya hindi mo kami nagsasalita about this. Although uh, may mga report, and according sa DMW, ah, uh, sa MWO dito sa Alcobar, there are some reports naman na, pero hindi lang mailabas hanggat hindi pa nga ho kinukumpirma ng DMW. Yung mga tao ho na nag-post na, um, okay, so sinaksak, sampung beses, etc. Meron pa lumabas, amo daw pumatay. Uh, we cannot confirm until such hindi ho nilalabas ng authority sa Saudi Arabia. And I hope na intindihan niyo ho ngayon. Okay? Dahil napakasalan nito at yung, yung kanyang pamilya hindi rin ho alam ang punot dulo. I hope na intindihan niyo na. I understand. Rest assured, we are coordinating, but rest assured we're coordinating closely with the DFA here in Manila. Mm. And our uh, embassy in Riyadh. Uh, Charge de Fair, Romato, and of course our labor attaché as well in, in Riyadh and in Alcobar. Yeah, we, we understand that fully, um, Yusek. We understand as well that the family was able to talk to Marjoret just a few weeks ago, September 15th, if I'm not mistaken, 2023. Did, would you know the nature of that conversation? Did she say anything about how her life maybe was in danger? Um, I'm not privy to the to the exact uh, details of the conversation as that would uh, usually be with within the family uh, but but we have reached out to the to the family and uh, we have uh, assured the family our o administrator Arnel Ignacio is also on board we have assured the family of our utmost support and assistance and and also as I mentioned uh, with regard to the ongoing investigation in Saudi Arabia we will keep the family updated and posted about the proceedings there and and rest assured uh if if the saudi authorities find uh that there had been a wrongdoing or a crime committed against uh marjorette then we will seek justice uh the full extent of the law under saudi law 
so that uh, justice will be delivered for, for Marjorette and her family. Wow. Narinig nyo, to the full extent kung ano ang batas sa Saudi Arabia kapag napatunayang pinatay talaga ito. Okay, pag napatunayan. Again, we are not referring to those uh, post of many of our kababayan kasi hindi rin tayo sigurado kung anong klase ang nangyari. Kung meron bang, meron bang uh, uh, foul play, uh, sorry, uh, may mga bagay ba na nauna nang nangyari before this crime. Okay, so hindi rin natin masasabi yan. But again, uh, baka mamaya meron hong ibang nangyari, hindi natin alam. Kaya sinasabi ng... Uh, ng DMWIC to the full extent kapag napatunayan okay? so alam nyo naman siguro kung anong, anong parusa sa taong nakapatay dito sa Saudi Arabia I, I, I know, I know everybody knows that naman, di ba? Okay? Um, Isaac, we understand as well that the family wants Marjorie's body to be returned home at the soonest possible time talk to us about um, how complex this may be considering that the investigation is only in its uh, initial stage? Yes, as we all know, uh, if there is an investigation, especially of a criminal nature, uh, the body or the corpus delicti, as we call it in legal terms, is pretty much part of the investigation. So the, the repatriation of human remains, of course, will be worked out in due time, and we have assured the family of immediate repatriation of remains in the context of awaiting the results of the investigation and in the context of uh, the proper uh, documentation and exit clearance requirements uh, within Saudi law, we will bring OFW Marjorie home as soon as possible. Okay, you know, napakalino po. Hanggat hindi pa tapos ang investigation, the body may not able to send back to the Philippines. Kasi nga po, investigation yan. And it's a criminal case kasi. So again, hindi pa tayo nakasisigurado when maiuuwi ang, ang bangka, yung katawan ng ating kababayang napas lang sa bansang Saudi Arabia. Does a family member have to fly out to Saudi Arabia to identify, to claim the body? Usually, the, the option would be a person within the embassy or the migrant workers' office mm -hmm. to be delegated with such a function. Uh, but, of course, the, the family, we're currently coordinating and talking to the family. Uh, if it becomes an option for the family to travel to the South, Saudi Arabia, then we are so willing and only be too willing, mm -hmm. myself and Administrator Arnel Ignacio, to transport the family and provide them all the assistance necessary if and when they decide to go and for the duration of their stay in Saudi Arabia until they return with Marjorie. Talk to us about what the DMW has done from the moment you heard of Marjorie's death. And is this in any way going to help define the current relationship that the Philippines has with Saudi Arabia? Well, napaka, napakatalino na nagtatanong. Okay, napakatalino na nagtatanong. Halos lahat dinidetalya na niya, tinatanong na niya. Ah, may re repatriate ba? Ano bang nangyayari sa kaso? Now, naitanong din niya, pwede bang o pumunta ang pamilya? Na, hindi hindi ko naisip yun. Na siguro pwede yun through compassionate visit for, for such case na ganito yung nangyari. Just to let the family know very well, ano yung nangyayari sa procedure sa kaso ni Kabayan. And naitanong din niya, ito po ba ay makakaapekto sa pagbibiyahe ng ating Pangulo sa Saudi Arabia? Dahil uh, kung naaalala ninyo, eh, nabanggit na ho natin ano, sa video natin. Hindi ko alam ko sa Facebook. Na papunta rito sa, sa Saudi Arabia si Pangulong Marcos uh, in the middle of October. Hindi ako nagkakamali. Napakatalino nagtatanong. Well, of course, we have long-standing bilateral labor relations with, 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 with Saudi Arabia. And uh, no less than our late secretary, Secretary Tuts Ople herself, made two trips to Saudi Arabia and, and established, uh, should I say, rekindled the bilateral labor relations ties with the, with the country, with the kingdom. 
And uh, the president, of course, if it had been announced, will be traveling to, to Saudi Arabia soon. So uh, we are closely coordinating with the Saudi authorities, and, and they have uh, assured us uh, that the proper investigation will take its uh, necessary and, and due course. And as I said, uh, if, if uh, a crime had been committed uh, upon uh, Marjorette, then uh, we will seek justice, and that the justice system in, in Saudi Arabia uh, will accordingly run its course and, and help us uh, if there is such a finding uh, to deliver justice to, to Marjorette and her family. With this happening um, just before, as you said, uh, the, the, the president's trip to Saudi Arabia, I think that's going to happen um, later this month or middle of the month. I'm not sure. Do you have the exact date, uh, Undersecretary? I think the announcement made was uh, sometime in the third week in time for Correct. the uh, ASEAN Gulf Cooperation Council meeting. Yeah, so uh, with this happening then, um, will this cause, um, cast any shadow um, on the president's visit to Saudi Arabia? Well, the presidential trip is on account of the ASEAN GCC uh, uh, meeting. Uh, and as I said, uh, the, the strong bilateral labor relations between our two countries uh, have always uh, been, been uh, the, the cause of proper coordination and the delivery of justice in previous cases uh, uh, with regard to OFWs who had been victims of crimes in, in Saudi Arabia. So uh, I would, I would uh, be so confident to say uh, that the Saudi authorities, uh, based also on their assurance, uh, will provide the necessary legal protection and, and let the investigation run its course and, if necessary, deliver proper justice to Marjorie and her family. Well, Attorney Hans Leo Kaknak, their officer in charge of the Philippine Department of Migrant Workers, uh, officer in charge and also undersecretary there. Um, Attorney, thank you again for joining us today. Again, I had hoped that we were going to talk about or under, under better circumstances, but really um, good luck with the investigation and our hearts, as of course, go out to the family of Marjorie Garcia. Thanks again for taking our call. Thank you, Carmina. That's much appreciated. Thank you for having me. Ayan, no? So, siguro naman na uh, this enough para matuldukan na ang mga kwento sa social media about the, the issue ng ating kababayang uh, Pinas lang dito sa Saudi Arabia. Meron ako mga nakikitang video at sinasalaysay pa, no? Yung mga uh, pangyayari na base lamang din sa comment section. Nako, kababaing tao talagang marites ang kanyang pagbablog. And... Uh, uh, you know you cannot uh, you cannot uh, uh, say anything uh, without the uh, proper coordination with the government and uh, hindi magbibigay ng uh, paunang salita ang gobyerno natin hangga't ang uh, ang uh, ang uh, investigasyon ay umiiral huwag nating paganahin ang investigasyon ng mga marites para lamang po magawa natin ng video ang ating kababayang napas lang Given info, given news, update, yes. Pero base sa mga comment section, naku, medyo lalo lang magpapabigat ito sa nararamdaman ng, uh, ng kapamilya ng, ng OFW. Diba? Ay, kung kayo man ho ang namatayan, kaanak mo, o hindi mo alam ano nangyayari, uunahan ka ng mga chismis sa social media, ano mararamdaman mo? Hindi lalo lang ho sasama ang loob ng pamilya ninyo, di ba? So I hope na iintindihan nyo na ho ang uh, punto natin, okay? God bless everybody and I hope na nakuha nyo na ang punto ng ating gobyerno. They will help to the full extent na pag napatunayan ho ng uh, ating gobyerno na ito talaga'y pinaslang. Kung ano ang batas na umiiral sa Saudi Arabia, yun ang ipapataw sa pumaslang. Magandang araw sa inyo lahat.